Two hours after the shooting, Louisville Metro Police and ATF agents began searching a home in the Camp Taylor neighborhood. We know they were also going door to door uh, asking for ring video, ring camera video, things mm -hmm. of that nature. But that one particular home in a Camp Taylor, Camp Taylor neighborhood was listed as an address for the shooter. Travis Breeze and photojournalist Paul Dunsford were there on the scene when police went inside the home. An LMPD SWAT team rolling up to the Camp Taylor home of 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon around 2.45 p.m. Monday. Officers knocked loudly and entered with no resistance. It scares you. You're afraid to, you know, walk your dog or whatever. People living on Taylor Avenue reacting to the scene downtown and also trying to recall any previous exchanges with Sturgeon. He does look familiar. You never spoke to him or waved at him or anything? Not that I can remember. To live next door to someone, I mean, I can't say nothing bad about the guy. Friendly, I was never scared or, or afraid or had fear of them. They're very nice people. Kira Algayer lives right next door to Sturgeon and at least one roommate. We were able to speak with her as soon as police took down the crime scene tape. Never heard no kind of violence, never heard noise from them. Very respectful. Yeah. Probably like your your favorite neighbor. According to News and Tribune in New Albany, Sturgeon was a star track and basketball athlete at Floyd Central High School, and his dad was the coach for a time. We did see one person on the forensics team walking out with a laptop, but that officer would not confirm it was a piece of evidence. But I just don't understand why you want to go hurt mm -hmm. people's moms, dads. Mm -hmm. You know, brother, sister. The SWAT team did not stay long as police wasted no time to explore all motives in this shooting. Travis Breeze, WHAS 11 on your side. Now, a spokesperson for the Floyd Central District uh, has not responded to our request for comments, but we'll tell you in an email to families, Floyd Central's principal, Dr. Rob Willman, said that they have several students and staff members who are close to the situation. He adds they will have additional counseling services available today for both students and staff. Coverage of this mass shooting continues this morning right after GMK. Good morning.